Good afternoon, guys. This is Tina. How are you doing so far? Uh, this is gonna be a short video uh, and uh, basically talk about when we have a bean conflicts and what's gonna happen. The solution is using qualifier. Okay, so let me show you the problem and uh, also show you the solution. Uh, in previous uh, video, I had a demo which I only has I have a customer DL right. This is the class, and uh, as we know by default, in the Spring Bean Factory, it's gonna only has one singleton for this customer DLO type right. But uh, now I want to make some change. Okay. Uh, in our customer service, I still uh, need to um, have a dependency on the customer deal, but here I will make this one to be interface, okay? And I'm gonna have two customer DAO implementation. Payments, customer deal, and uh, I'm gonna go here, has another class. Two okay. Implements customer deal. Okay. So now we have a two implementation, and uh, let's and here so we are using Auto Wild, which is constructor based. Okay. Now let's run it. Mm -hmm. You got a runtime exception. And what did the exception say? Here they say expect at least one bean, okay? But I don't have any. A lot of students have this problem. Oh, what they have is like this way. Uh, let me see. Uh, this have exception, but if I comment, let me show, let me see if this one has exception also, okay? Because when I uh, was teaching, some of my students will have the non-point exception. The problem for this kind of error is I don't add any component-based annotation here. Because if we don't add component-based annotation, Spring won't initialize bin for the customer deal right customer deal import and customer deal import too that's the reason in the bin factory there's no instance which type is a customer deal and here we ask spring to inject one customer deal for us and they can't find so you have this problem there's another way to solve the problem if you're gonna do like this way okay there's another way which you can using required equals false and for this case this is gonna be none but you won't get the exception you'll get a none but you won't have exception and if you don't add the required then you're gonna must has at least one bin and uh, the other way to do that let me comment this one okay and make sure here using auto -wide. And the other way is I mark it one of them, one of the implementation of customer deal, mark them using component based annotation. Okay, here I have one, and now you will see one instance, no problem. No problem. But sometimes we have two implementation, right? If for both of them I had a repository repository for both of them which means in our bean factory we have two beans which type is customer deal right we have this bean and this bean both of customer deal then in the customer service i need to have a customer deal which one to choose now you have a conflict when we run we will see exception see here expect one but we find two 
and how to solve the problem. If you what 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 you can do is you make one to be you comment one, which you leave one only. The other way is you can have another. Oh, sorry, not here. Another annotation called a qualifier. Qualifier. Then you can give a name. If I remember correctly, by default the name gonna be customer deal, but the name is lowercase. Okay, let's run it and let's see. successfully and if you want to choosing the uh, customer two you can use in two this is the default name when uh, spring um, trying to give a name to a bin default uh, default name uh, default bin name for this bin is the type but make sure the first letter is lowercase you can also give a name here at the cast deal you can also give a name when you give this name you can also set here still works okay so in this video i show you the problem which uh, when we have the conflicts on the beans and how to solve that the solution is using the qualifier okay so that's it Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.